Mighty first song. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, tonight for your presence here. Amen. Glory to God. I tell you, if he gets any better, I don't know what we're going to do. Amen. Come on. He is good to us. We, we serve a good God tonight. Amen. Yeah, amen. We're not serving a dead God who's in the grave. Come on. We're not serving a dead God who's leading people astray. Amen. I'm glad that, praise God, when He leads us, amen, to God, He leads us for a reason, hallelujah, that brings glory to His name, amen. Amen. Anything He does with us is going to bring glory to Him, and that's fine with me because we're just instruments in the hand of the Almighty, amen. Come on, amen. Look at somebody and say, I'm an instrument in Jesus' hand. Instrument in Jesus' hand. Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 91, beginning in verse 1. Reading from the King James Version Bible, oh, amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many knows that Jesus is coming back soon? Come on, amen. amen. Thank you, Brother Billy. Yeah. Psalm 91, beginning in verse 1. The Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Come on. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Amen. Surely He shall deliver me, deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Yeah. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Let me stop right there. The Word of God will protect you from anything the devil throws at you. Amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. If you keep the Word in your heart, praise God. If you keep the Word in your mind, Keep the word continually, amen to God, flowing out of you, amen to God. The devil won't beat you, amen to God. Come on. You'll have victory over him like Jesus did in the wilderness, amen to God. Amen. Glory to God. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by day, nor for the arrow that flieth by night, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh to thee. Glory to God. Amen. Only with thy eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Amen. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adler. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Go over to God. The devil is defeated tonight. Amen. Yeah, amen. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. What's his name, church? Jesus. Amen. One more time. Jesus. For a third time. Jesus. Because you have known his name. Amen Come on. to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. Go over to God. Hallelujah. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him. My salvation. Amen. I tell you, Psalm 91 uh -huh. is one of the greatest psalms ever written. Amen to God. It should be, for me, it's my personal prayer. When I get scared, I go and read this psalm and pray this psalm. Amen Come to on. God. God is going to take care of us if we trust in Him tonight. Amen. Amen. But I've got to tell you this too. There is an enemy out there who wants to take you out. Amen. The devil does not want us to succeed. He does not want us to be blessed. He does not want us to prosper. He does not want us to overcome. He Come wants on. us to live in defeat. Yeah. He wants us to stay in lack, always needing. Hallelujah to God. He wants us to stay sick in body, bound up in mind. Hallelujah. Oh. Staying on pain pills, staying on nerve pills. Amen to God. Amen. Staying high on dope, drinking all the time, smoking all the time. He wants us to stay in yeah. the worst shape we can be in. But Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen to God. Amen. So I want to talk to you tonight. Praise God. This may sound like a crazy title. Assassination attempts. Come on. Amen. You said, Brother Mike, what does that have to do with it? Because believe it or not, the devil at some point, at some time, has tried to assassinate you in some way. Come on. Whether it be in the physical, whether yeah. it be, hallelujah, verbal, yeah. running your name down, the devil will try anything he can to take you out. But I've always said this, when the devil's got a plan to take you out, 
God has got a plan in motion to keep you in. Amen? Come on. As long as you're blood bought, covered under the blood of Jesus, amen to God, God will take care of His own. Amen? Amen. Assassination attempts is what I'm talking about. Father, we come before you now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for that name. That name is hallelujah. It's a protection, Lord God. We pray, Lord, tonight that you would help us, Lord God, to be to see this world clearly tonight, Jesus. I pray, Lord, for those under the sound of my voice here, those out there by YouTube, whatever avenue, Lord, will be ministered to tonight, set free and healed in their bodies. Hallelujah. For we believe all these things in Jesus' name. And the church said, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Well, glory to God, we want to welcome, first off, everybody that's here tonight at VOTL. Glory to God. And we want to welcome everybody out there on YouTube and Facebook. Come on. Hallelujah. VOTL channel. Preaching the Truth broadcast. The VOTLradio.com. Whatever <laughs> avenue, we welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We, we love you. Praise God. Tyler, can you swing the camera around and let everybody give a big wave offering to the people? And tell them we love them and they're welcome. Praise God here tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Sake. Hallelujah. There are brothers and sisters out there, so we just want to make you feel at home. And praise God. And hope we say something tonight that's going to minister life to you in Jesus' name. We, we've read and seen over the years of some assassination attempts in history. We've read about them. I know in school they, they taught us some different things in the history book about different ones that was either assassinated or attempts that was made to kill folks. Come on. And I, I'm going to give you a couple right here, just for example. April 14, 1865, Abraham Lincoln was assassinated at the Ford Theater in Washington, D.C. by John Wilkes Booth. Yeah. He was the President of the United States. Amen to God. I believe he was a Christian man. Amen. He comes so that the slaves could be set free because Amen. no man needed to be bound up. They didn't need to be owned by no man. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Jesus, amen to God. The Spirit will set the slave free, the slave to sin. Amen to God. Amen. But thank God for Abraham Lincoln that he took a stand against that. I believe he was a true believer in God. Some say amen. he wasn't, but I think he was. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Thank God for that. But be that as it may, the devil wanted to take Abraham Lincoln out. Come on. Hallelujah. And he used John Wilkes Booth to do it. Yeah. So don't tell me the devil ain't out to get people doing work for the Lord. Amen? Come on. Another one, Martin Luther King. He was assassinated April 4th, 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee on the balcony of a hotel. Yeah. Martin Luther King, Brother Billy, said that I have a dream. Come on. That all men should go free. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. I don't think he's seen no color with people. Amen? And we shouldn't either, praise God. This whole oh. racial issue needs to be thrown away because, amen to God, if you're in Jesus, there ain't no racial issue. Come on. Let it go, hallelujah. You're black, I'm white, I'm red, you're green, it doesn't matter, oh, praise God. Amen. Jesus loves you no matter what. He died at the cross for everybody. He died yeah, for the amen. Chinese, he died for the African Americans, oh. he died for the Caucasians, amen to God, the Russians, amen oh. to God, all of them. He died for you all, praise God. Hallelujah. He is no respecter of persons, amen to God. He loves everybody. Amen. He said, whosoever will, let him come, amen. Yeah, come on. Go over to God so Jesus is not a racist. Amen. Glory to God. And I'll say that again. Jesus Christ and the and the religion, or well, I'm going to say religion, praise God, but the relationship of Christianity that we have, praise God, we're not racist, amen to God, because we love everybody. Oh, and you're supposed to. Because with Jesus, amen to God, it's not what you can do. It's all about love, 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 amen to God. Oh. You can have all the greatest gifts in the world, but if you don't love your brother or sister, hallelujah to God, it profiteth nothing. So we need to get back to loving each other and not being, praise God, caught up in this old stupid, goofy stuff. Amen to God. That's what the devil wants you to do. Amen? Amen. Another man that was assassinated, John F. Kennedy, November 22, 1963. He was assassinated in Dallas, Texas while riding in a motorcade. Come on. I think it was Lee Harvey Oswald, was it? Yeah. But some have said it wasn't him, but who knows? The enemy was out doing things to try to kill people, amen? Come on. March 30th, 1981, President Ronald Reagan, he wasn't killed, but there was an attempt to shoot him. Yeah. And they didn't kill him, though, but there was an attempt. 
Amen. See, I'm showing you people in history here in our in our in our nation and stuff that was either assassinated or tried to. Yeah. But I want to go in the spirit for a second because the devil, he's your adversary. He's out to break you, tear you down, beat you up, Amen. do anything to you, sling you through the mud. He don't care about you. Come on. And don't think he does because the devil hates you. The devil wants you to die. Amen. Amen. I mean, we don't need, praise God, everybody gets this mental picture that the devil's got a tail with a point on it on. and two horns on the head and a pitchfork, yeah, pitchfork. Three, three little prongs on it, and Come they on. think that's the devil. Yeah. The devil will come at you as an angel of light. Amen. Hallelujah. The devil will come at you disguised as somebody, praise God, that you can trust. Somebody that you can talk to. Hallelujah. Yeah. Somebody that you can put your faith in. Amen. He'll come at you that way. And then when you turn your head, come on. He'll yeah. stab you in the amen. back with that knife. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen on that. Amen. The devil is not your friend. The devil don't care nothing about you. Amen. All the devil wants you to do is die. He wants you to fail. He wants you to be miserable. Oh. He wants to torment you yeah. every day amen. like he did me. Amen to God. He used come to come on. and torment me on my mind. Amen to God. And I had to take authority over that in the name of Jesus. Come on. It's amen. time we get violent at the devil. Come on. We don't waste no time getting violent with other folks. Why don't we take that violence and turn it towards the devil in the name of Jesus? Amen. Praise God. Because the violence is going to take it by force. Amen to God. We're going to have to get violent in our faith tonight and Come stand on. up to the devil and say, Devil, I'm not taking no more of your garbage. I put my foot down in the name of Jesus. Get out of here. Amen. Glory to God. I thought somebody would shout amen on that. Amen. amen. As I tell you today, we see the problems in our churches today. If the preachers, praise God, would put their foot down in the name of Jesus and Come command on. that spirit to get out of there, Come they on. wouldn't have the problems they do. Amen. I've never seen so many churches. Amen to God. They've got to have so many committee meetings. They've got to have board meetings. They've got to go yeah. through every deacon and unknown to man to get an okay. Why don't all of you get on your face before Almighty oh. God, repent of oh. your sins, praise God, oh, ask yeah. God to take over and be in charge of it because He is anyway, Come praise on. God, and just tell that devil, get out of the house. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, it's time to run him out. It's time run him out. out. Go over to God. I tell you, we've got to be careful today. The devil, amen, to God is doing everything he can to stop us. He's doing everything he can to keep you from receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. He's doing everything he can to keep you from getting your victory in the area you need it. Amen. On, amen. Another one, praise God. September 11th, 2001. We remember that very well. Yeah. When the terrorists flew over here. Come on. And this is how deadly the devil is. Because these people really believe that if they commit suicide and sacrifice their bodies, Brother Come Billy, for, for the cause of, of the Islam faith, yeah. they believe that if they sacrifice themselves, that when they go over to what they call heaven, they're going to get so many virgins. They're yeah. going to get so many riches. They're going to get so much of this and that. But I got bad news for you, Islam people. When you commit that suicide and do that, amen to God, you're going to end up in a place called hell. Come on. And you're going to be burning there for all eternity. Amen. Hallelujah. So you better listen to the born again believer who has an experience with Jesus Christ because Jesus died to save you as well. Come on. Go over to God. He died to save all those people over there. And what we should do, amen to God. I don't agree with what they did, amen to God. I'm not saying I do. But I think we as born-again believers need to pray for them, people. Pray that God.